you seem to come from a very close family. Were they, uh, did they accept you when you came out? Uh, or was there some, any kind of drama with any family members? Uh, well, what's, it's family? funny you ask that because before, before it came out, I came out very late. I came out very late to myself. Like I was late twenties and I didn't, you know, tell my parents until like my early thirties. And then even I had relatives in Turkey, which is very conservative and relatives in upstate New York, which is even more conservative and aunts and uncles and stuff. And I really only saw them once every few years or this or that. So it wasn't really, didn't really come up and I didn't want to make this big announcement or whatever. So it became, it was this unspoken thing for a long time. And, um, but when I went to write the book, I'm like, okay, I'm writing this book now. It's going to, which I clearly am saying, saying in the book that I'm gay. So, so I sent letters to upstate New York to my aunts and uncles, you know, letting them know, you know, and kind of in a, just, explaining to them and then even in turkey a few cousins and that speak english and i i sent them just so it wasn't this big secret like there's something wrong with it i'm hiding it all that it's just, they needed to know and my aunt one aunt sent me immediately sent me uh not sent me called me and left this beautiful message on my machine and it was so sweet my other aunt sent me a nice little letter you know we just want you to be happy and all this other stuff and it's funny in the letter i said something like um I was explaining to them, you know, the, even uh, some animals are gay. Gay doesn't mean you're a pedophile. And this, I'm explaining all this stuff. And so when my aunt wrote me the letter, she goes, you know, we're, we're from the Adirondacks, not Mars. Like they, they knew more than I thought they knew. But it's a really small town. So I don't know what, you know, what their things are sometimes. And then, uh, you know, and the relatives in Turkey, which, you know, if the cousins were okay. But what's weird, not weird, but uh, so the book has been out three years. And then like a month ago on Facebook, a cousin's son posted this really horrible homophobic rant or something. And it was very religious. It was religious oriented of, you know, sex is only for procreating. And so, you know, gay sex is definitely wrong. And this, I mean, it was so insulting to LGBT people. It was insulting to people who don't want to have kids. It was, but it was all this, the, you know, God only meant for women and men about and this whole really, and, and using the word bestiality and, and pedophilia in the same sentence and all this, and I was like, no, 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 no. We're not going to just let that sit there on Facebook. It just happened to pop up in my newsfeed. So I commented on that. No, this is totally inaccurate information. It's ignorant. It's, you know, it was Pride Month. I think that's what sparked him to go off on this thing. He's like 22, you know, years old. And I've known him since he was one. You know, it's it's very sad. And like, I was like, oh, my God. And I, this is not. And so I commented. Other people started. You know, he had a few people come to his agree with him but most people are like you're wrong about this so you know wake up or even my mom chimed in which is probably hard for her you know because it's doesn't want to stir up things with the family but it was so offensive the post and against lgbtq people up against all and it's this whole religious brainwashing stuff and uh you know my another cousin's son was um or i don't know if it's my second cousin i don't know what you call him, but he sent me a nice little message oh sorry about what they wrote and you know i didn't even know he knew about me being gay and stuff but it was kind of cool in this day and age first of all it's, that's just no it's not you're not going to stand for it anymore that kind of just ignorant you know stuff because somebody even said you know you're more likely to be um, abused by a priest than a someone gay because you know the whole the whole thing was like just so people were coming to the defense of lgbtq people and i think it got so bad he blocked people and they blocked him and then he ended up just taking the whole his whole facebook account but so within my own family and every family has people that you know or maybe be conservative i knew that but I didn't know there was some, again, it's a more, more of a religious thing. And I have a whole chapter called gay, Pray the Gay Bashers Away in my book. And that deals with all, it deals with all that stuff. And if I was writing the book now, I would have included that in the book. At that time, I, didn't, I had no idea that was kind of going on. But that, that post like showed so much. And he kept digging himself deeper every time he answered somebody's disagreeing with him. It just got worse and worse. It's like, oh, my God.